been a week. So uh, here we are with a Total War Warhammer Battle replay. So you can see I brought the Von Karsteins today. I'm against the Dwarves. So I've uh, got a nice front line of Graveguard. I find uh, they do the job. Uh, Graveguard great weapons would do better against the Dwarves, but I find the anti-infantry just helps chop up most of the uh, Dwarf infantry anyway. So it uh, saves me a bit of money that I can spend on Crypt Horrors and such. So I've got three Crypt Horrors. I've got Vlad Von Karstein here. I've got a Necromancer. And uh, in the trees over here, I've got a couple of Vargolfs hiding from artillery. So they're going to run in cause a ruckus, so that'll be good. So, uh, yeah. So let's look at this guy's army. This is a good one, actually. Uh, I like this. So he's got front line of uh, Dwarf Warriors great weapons. Uh, actually, nope, he's got a real mix here. So he's got uh, a couple of... three? Yeah, three lots of Dwarf Warriors great weapons. Uh, he's got a couple of long beards. He's got Norgrimling's Iron Breakers in the middle, so very formidable. Um, he's also got some iron drakes over there. He's got some uh, iron drakes with troll hammer torpedoes. A couple of cannons. So, uh, yeah, some pretty formidable range there. He's also got some rangers with great weapons. Great for taking out large targets. Uh, he's got some more on the other side. And uh, he's also got um, a couple of rangers in the middle. And uh, they're being led by a rune lord. So, pretty cool army. I really like it. Pardon me. So, uh, yeah, let's get in here. So, uh, obviously, I'm just going to move up as usual. So, uh, one thing I am going to do, though, is uh, I'm pretty sure I do... Yeah, I spread out my line first um, as I approach. He's got a very long line. I want to get all of them engaged. And also, I want to spare some of my units from these cannons. Because, as you can see, they're doing a fair bit of damage already. Uh, yeah, these cannons are very accurate. Has he, uh, has he chevroned them up at all? No, he hasn't. No, no, that's just, just cannons being cannons. So, pretty impressive the amount of damage he's done already. Just that opening volley. So, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I use my uh, Crypt Horrors to flank. I think is uh, pretty handy. Rangers start firing at them, which is a bit annoying. So, uh, yeah, I curve them around a bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting in here. So, uh, my Vargolfs, they've come around the back. He's uh, he's moving some guys to, you know, sort of, uh, you know, better protect himself from them. But obviously, two Vargolfs, that's uh, pretty pretty dangerous. That's quite difficult to protect against. Here, you can see the Crypt Horrors take a load of fire damage. That's not good for Crypt Horrors. Um, that stops them regenerating, I believe. And, uh, yeah, you can see they've taken a huge amount of damage already. And they run in, hit the Iron Breakers. Uh, basically, I just wanted them to do some damage on the uh, on the charge, but mainly I just want to have them um, pin these guys in place as I approach with everything else. Unfortunately, though, they do take way more damage than I thought they would. So, um, yeah, I think I might lose those pretty quickly. Uh, here, though, uh, my front line's engaged everywhere, and I've managed to completely decimate these ranged great weapons with my Crypt Horrors. But again, they're taking a lot more fire than I'd like. So he's doing very well singling out my larger units here. Uh, so I come in with my... Uh, with my Vargolfs, so these ranges have been pretty knackered. Um, I managed to pretty much walk around the uh, <laughs> the Dwarf Warriors of Great Weapons, who's probably busy, you know, managing other things. So uh, here I managed to get some Crypt Horrors straight into the back, so these ranges are going to have a tough time. I get some zombies to try and stop them firing for a bit, and uh, my Vargolf has penetrated even deeper into the fight now. Uh, you can see though those Crypt Horrors are really in trouble. Um, so yeah, uh, also, they got Iron Drakes firing, that's annoying, don't really want them to be firing. Um, so I'm pretty sure I do st uh, shove some zombies on top of them. Here you go, so zombies are coming in to try and stop them. But now they're behind my line, that's pretty tough. So uh, they can do a lot there. So uh, once again, you know, still got my uh, Vargolf just causing havoc in the back line here. So uh, I managed to wrap up his Iron Drakes, which is really good, because I do not want them firing. So, uh, so that's nice. Uh, unfortunately those rangers have retreated, so if they turn around and start getting some volleys, they can do a huge amount of damage. Uh, here I've just got Crypt Horrors against these long beards, but they're doing okay. Um, here though, you know, the Dwarf Warriors are great weapons, they're having real trouble against the Graveguard. But they have managed to hold me off for a little while, so that's uh, that's not too bad. So a losing unit here, um, I think it might have been just zombies, so not, not the end of the world. Uh, or it might have been more Crypt Horrors actually, who knows. Um, nope, nope, I've still got them there, the ones in the front, they're, uh, they're, they're back. They're back, which is really good. They didn't crumble. So I uh, managed to get a nice invocation into Heck on this slot, and that was able to keep him in the fight long enough, so that's really good. Here though, he's got his Rune Lord against these Crypt Horrors, and he's going to absolutely decimate these guys. So uh, so that's not good for me. However, his uh, his line is broken here, so I managed to run through with a couple of Grave Guard, and that's going to do huge damage, so that's great. Um, so I'm tying up a lot of their units, so their cannons now can't fire. Well, actually one can. Uh, but this one being stopped, uh, they were just shooting straight into my Crypt Horrors there. I managed to get some zombies on his Rune Lord. Um, I just want to tie him up for a bit, because, you know, I've still got a lot of other things to face. So, uh, here though, you know, his uh, rangers, they end up getting uh, getting a graveguard to the face, so that's great. Um, here, you know, frontliners are doing great here, actually. These long beards are doing very well against graveguard. They're very formidable. 
And also these iron drakes are wrapped up still, so that's good news. Because, um, yeah, if they're not firing, then they're not really being used properly, so that's really good for me. Um, but, yeah, you can see a lot of their units starting to run. Um, but I do have a lot of units crumbling here and there, you know? Um, here's focusing down some of my expensive units. But I still do have my Vargolves just running absolute rampage through these guys, so that's really good. Um, so, yeah, here, um, I realise these rangers are firing at me, so I decided to shut them down. So that's good news. And uh, I decided to shove my Vargolf in here, because I know the Vargolf is going to do some serious damage against these North, uh, North Rimbling Ironbreakers. So um, anything I can do to help get rid of these guys quicker, the better. Because look how many units they've wrapped up in this fight. They are so formidable. They just don't die. They just refuse. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. So here he's trying to get his Iron, uh, his iron Drakes out, but I am keeping on him with zombies, so that's really good news. Um, here, though, you know, I'm about to lose some Grave Guard to these long beards. They're pretty damn good, those, uh, those long beards. And yep, he does slip them out. Here though, these Grove Guard have finished wrapping up the enemy over here. So they're coming in to help. So uh, they're going to get after this cannon. So uh, more Grave Guard coming in to support, you know, what units I had over here. So that's really good. So uh, this line is now in a bit of trouble. And you can see I've still got this massive blob in the middle. Um, so although they're doing quite well on the odd, you know, sort of on this flank, um, I'm tying up a lot of their, you know, better units in the middle. Stopping them from able to fire on me, and I'm slowly whittling down these iron breakers. That's really good. And uh, I got these guys completely penned in. They're, they're just going to lose eventually. Um, unfortunately, though, um, I didn't realise I've got my bar golf still running off over there. So um, I'd rather he didn't do that. But eh, what can you do? You know, I've still got one healthy one in here fighting the uh, iron breakers. I'm happy with that. And yet, these zombies have managed to tie down this rune lord for ages. So that's really good news. So here he uses a uh, master rune of both and steel. So that puts these guys up to how much armour is it? 180 armor these guys have got, which is just ridiculous. I use a Master of Beguilement on them just to stop them from being able to hurt me so much. Because you can see my Grave Guard are starting to falter here. Um, which, you know, makes sense. I'm surprised they survived this long. So that's pretty good. And uh, here, this Vargolf is now just being shot at. I do notice and bring him in though, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't get shot at for too long. Uh, here, though, just got some zombies wrapping up his arm, uh, his long beard, so that's really good. And uh, as you can see, I've finally managed to route his uh, Iron Breakers. And with that, Army losses hit, and uh, that's, yeah, that's GG. Um, but I think that was a really good one. Um, usually with this kind of build, I just sort of run straight through them. Um, but there was just so much stuff to counter. He had so many, like, interesting units that could be very deadly on their own. Um, I'm kind of amazed he managed to stretch his money this far. This is a really cool build. Um, so, yeah, really, really kudos to this guy. Um, Whiteface. I'm not sure if that's... I have no idea. Is that, like, the opposite of Blackface? I have no idea. Um... So, yeah, if that's offensive to anyone, then I'm sorry. Uh, it's not my name. Um, but I'm not sure if it is or not. It's one of those ones with a big question mark over it. Anyway, um, good game, Whiteface. Really cool, really cool build. I really enjoyed this. And, uh, yeah, you did a great job singling out my like, Crypt Horrors and stuff. You made it really difficult for me to capitalize with a lot of my units. So, uh, that was really good fun. And, yeah, the cannons did some good work, but I did manage to get guys on them pretty quickly. Um, but a lot of those kills were on Crypt Horrors. You know, they were on quite expensive units. So, yeah, I'd say it was pretty well done. Unfortunately, though, his range of great weapons, I just didn't give him the chance um, to use them very well. You know, I had just that mobility from the Cryptoras running around and the Vargolfs, um, so he couldn't capitalize on them. If he'd had them more in the center of his army, um, he could probably just pointed them straight at the uh, Cryptoras uh, in the middle. He could have probably taken out my uh, Necromancer, because they're on a big cart, so they tend to stick out a bit more. So that would have been really useful. It would have stopped a lot of that sort of ambient healing. Um, so yeah, I think it would have been better to not have them on the flanks, because I just had too, too, like, wide an army. Um, so yeah, he just couldn't protect them, unfortunately. But yeah, really cool though. I mean, look at these long beards, 134 kills, that's brilliant. So, uh, yeah, fun one. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys.